At an exclusive webinar, chairperson of Sri Lanka Tourism discusses the future strategies along with health and safety measures. We've all changed. Emotionally, we've changed. What we want, we've changed. The experience we want, we've changed. And I think we are all looking for nature again. We are looking for the beach. We are looking to spend time with nature, the, the wildlife, the, the whole thing, the tea plantations. What we have to offer is a lot of the nature, what people are looking for. I think from the nightlife part of it, whether it is the casinos or, you know, the whole nightlife scene, which is not heavy like in some of the other countries. But I noticed that the Indian market, there's a certain segment who looks for that, which we have. We are looking at the possibility of looking at the battery farm to make Colombo a sort of a regional retail hub. Uh, because as you know, the port city is also coming about and uh, there are lots of uh, hotel rooms coming in. Uh, so we are looking at different events going forward uh, to, to make Colombo in a way more interesting and more entertaining. We have a tourist visa $20 for SAR and non flat 35 and business just for a good order 30 and 40. Okay, so for purpose of India, Tourists is 20 and business is 30. You would apply for the visa, you will say uh, seven days minimum and you will choose the certified accommodation. Now, there's a misconception that, oh, we're going to do five star, four star only. No, anyone registered with us, anyone who's certified COVID free as per our guideline, who will be audited, every single person will be audited. Uh, they will then get a certificate and you can book in any of those. Then when you arrive, we will do a PCR test uh, um, at the airport. We are doing the visa process when you apply, we'll, you'll be paying $65 uh, dollars for the PCR test. And the hotel will be responsible or the travel agent will be responsible for your transfer. Then you do the fifth to the seventh day. Uh, but what we are planning on doing is outsourcing it to a private sector where we will have a mobile unit. All these years it was travel agent focused. So I have come in new with the new government and I'm looking at this fresh. And last year we spent a lot of money, 1.2 billion rupees on tour, uh, trade shows last year. But we didn't spend on the others. So what I'm trying to say is that we need to look at travel agents, OTAs, airlines, all of them. The complete B2B segment needs to be looked at in total and a policy needs to be in place.